Today, environment issues and global warming are main human concerns. The more human developed, the more CO2 we emit to the atmosphere. An effective solution is to keep the CO2 underground, but how to check the underground chamber conditions is very challenging. Additionally, energy demand increases to global crisis. It's now very expensive for oil and gas companies to look for new hydrocarbon reserves. Instead, they want to exploit more efficiently the current reservoirs they have. So the need to understand what is happening down there becomes very important. That's why I chose my research, underground reservoir monitoring. My research indicates the changes of reservoir conditions over time is the meaning of monitor. A good thing of my study is I use surface recorded data without putting new equipment into the ground because drilling is much more expensive. Technically, I measure the variation of the reservoir by subtracting multiple underground images. So what subtraction do I mean here? I tell you. Just think of it as a very simple game. Let's spot the differences between these pictures. A room and the same room after, say, an hour. Well, you can compare them visually, but it's time consuming and ineffective. My way of finding differences is to subtract one picture from the other, which can be done very fast by a computer. As you can see, only the differences show up. If I apply this method on real underground images, the data will be processed simultaneously, and I get the result immediately. However, there are difficulties in my research because the data is not always ready for subtraction. Being collected at different times, there are differences coming from the environment and the equipment. Just imagine those cartoons would not be aligned, or one was in color, the other is in black and white, our subtraction will be meaningless. In that case, I will program up the computer to make the images comparable. After subtraction, I will analyze the difference image to see what is happening in the reservoir. In the end, I can tell if there is more room for CO2 storage or there is more oil and gas to be extracted. With these answers, I believe my research may contribute to climate stability and to reduce the cost of hydrocarbon exploration. Thank you.